Hello, my fellow YouTubers. I am here today playing Batman Arkham Knight. Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars The Old Republic. It's Batman Arkham Asylum. Spider Man. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Roto Show. Last time we actually pitched a pretty good game. Six innings pitch, one earned run, five hits, 11 strikeouts. So we're on a path right now, possibly to get called up to AAA soon. So hopefully that will happen soon. And things have gone well, so hopefully my next appearance goes well. Alright, who are these people now? Because last time, they were like called the Airy Timberwolves or whatever the last thing I faced. I don't know what the hell these people are called. Like these double A, like I said before, these double A names. Like, the Mets double... Yeah, come on, Aqua dude. Got him. I like, our, I like our uniform. This Mets uniform, double A uniform. Portland. Portland what? Portland Otters or something? I have no idea. Well, what I was, was what I was saying is that this Mets uniform, I like this uniform that the double A uniform that they have. That nice orange game number and then kind of aquish, bluish jersey with a blue Mets uh, logo. That is a sexy uniform. Oh, nice. It's very unusual. I don't really. I don't think my. I don't consider this pitcher. Oh, jeez! You see that knuckleball? <laughs> that shit just went from like above my catcher's head to like the bottom of the hitter's knees. That was incredible. So what I was saying is, I don't consider this pitcher that I created to be that much of a strikeout pitcher, but he has become a strikeout pitcher because he struck out eleven last time. So that's a lot. So that just shows you that he should. I should be rating triple A. Well, I did put the. I you could you could um, put what age you want to be in this. So I put myself as a twenty year old. Ooh. So I guess I don't know how this works. It said that if I wanted to go to college or whatever, like before. But I chose to sign with a team. So. I should be. I should technically be already a little bit more advanced than other players in double A. Because usually how it goes when somebody in real life gets drafted, they either go, they put them in single A. I think there's like single A, advanced single A, then double A, and then triple A, and then MLB. But I'm probably missing like a uh, an A around there. I'm not sure. Because I know that... Oh, crap. There goes my no-hitter. There goes my no-hitter. Because I know the Mets have... The St. Lucie Mets, which I'm not sure if that's a single-A team or the advanced single-A team. Then they have the Savannah Nats. Or unless they moved out of there. They probably did. I think they're called the Flyer Flies now. And then this double-A Binghamton, which I think they're going to change their name next year. Because I don't know why. Why don't not just keep the Mets name? And then triple-A, the Las Vegas 51s. Which their mascot is an alien. Which is weird. And... The Mets before their AAA team used to be from Buffalo. Their team was called the Buffalo B Bisons. So that kind of goes with their name, Help Buffalo Bison. And yeah, I don't know why, probably, I don't know why they moved from uh, Buffalo, but it's probably because each spring training, <laughs> whoa, probably each spring, uh, spring training, wow, <laughs> each triple a team or double a team has like a agreement with a uh, county or whatever and they have like a, a contract and then when that contract expires they have to move somewhere else that's that's what i've heard i'm not sure if that's how it works don't take my word for it oh portland sea dogs that shit that thing does not look like a dog that thing looks like it looks like a combination of an otter and a dog because that thing's face looks like a dog but the rest of its body does not look like a dog well, they did call it Sea Dog, so maybe there's some, there's some, you know, implication that it's part of a sea. I guess evolution took place in a dog, and that dog became the Sea Dog, and now he can roam free with the fishies. I guess, not sure. Gotta question the creator of the Sea Dogs. Woo! Look at that. 24 pitches through three innings and one out in the third. 
I guess I'm pitching at home again, so I guess we're in a home stand or whatever. That was a nice curve. I forgot to level up my damn pitches. <laughs> imagine how imagine if that that's how it is in the real life. You gotta level up your your stamina, your control, your break on your pitches. <laughs> Alright guys. I got some twenty training points. I gotta use them now. I gotta inject twenty stamina points into my body right now. <laughs> oh my god. Soon I believe the umpires are gonna be robots. I think MLB, I don't think the MLB is considering this, but a lot of fans are actually thinking of having a, the, a, an umpire, the, a computer being an umpire, the umpire. So I say go with a classical way of a team, of a, uh, of a game, a team, what the hell am I saying? So I don't like that idea that they're trying to go modern now on this very old game that one ball. That's evolved. Like it, everything evolves at some point. But I don't like the idea of like changing something that's been like constant for like a hundred years already. It's just, it's not gonna feel right. But th that eventually happens in life. You have to get used to stuff and all that shit. So maybe it is the right choice. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I say keep it how it is, even though all these umpires mess up a lot of the times. But that's that's the that's the fruit of the game. That's that's the that's how baseball is. People mess up. People do astonishing things. Like it can't all be perfect because that's that's the beauty of the game. So I don't know. Shit, I gave up a double now. I gotta back up the third baseman. <laughs> Well, that was crazy. Gerald Rutledge. Imagine if they actually become, the umpires become computers. Well, they technically, they already have that with replay. Replay technically is an umpire. That's how I think of it. Replay is like that separate umpire. Cameras is that separate umpire. The cameras determine everything. And like how they're trying to decrease time in baseball because baseball, a baseball game takes like three plus hours. What do you expect? It's been like that for over... Well, I don't know. I'm not sure how it was in 1930s. Probably it was like 230 plus. But I think time has... Baseball game time has increased over the years. But it's not our fault that it takes... Nine innings takes three hours. And if people don't want to watch it, then... Like, I don't really see that there's there's been a decrease in uh, in revenue. Like, deal in like around 2013 or something. Um, the MLB gained eight billion dollars in revenue. That's a shit ton of money. He's out. The f Not eight billion dollars is a shit ton of money. Then the year after that, they increased by one billion, nine billion. So there's a lot of money in baseball. Money talks. Money talks. So I don't know what the hell they think. That was a strike. And then, while they also implemented implemented the review system, which I like, because it helps... Shit. Crap. I am in a tough spot. I am in a cookie spot right now. The team could, like, shit on my freaking face right now if I don't get my shit straight. Oh, okay. Shit, 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 shit. No shit, dude. No shit. I usually give up one run per game, which is pretty good. But I like to get that zero per game. So, you know, pitchers are perfectionists, as they say. Oh, my jeez. This bullshit. Please double play, double play, double play, double play, double play. Yes. Double play. Sadly, I give up one run. To the Portland Sea Dogs, which is the weirdest name I've seen on a baseball team. All right, next up. So I was saying before the review system, even though it's technically taking the game out of the umpire's hands and it's taking some some enjoyment from the game because, like, when I was watching a Mets game, the com uh, commentators were basically saying like, like how they like they're emphatic when the great play is made, but you you don't know if the play is gonna be made if it's a bang bang play at first base 
and it's a great play by the fielder throwing the first and then the and then the umpire calls it safe while it's while it's actually out and then the, the commentator is being emphatic about it and then he has to tone down because he doesn't know if it's safe or out like it also takes out of the enjoyment of the game because you're like oh my god now we gotta wait to see if he's out or safe that's happened to me once well not once what am i talking about Gad. Like, it takes out of the enjoyment, the hype, the the adrenaline out of the game. Because the team's pumped up. You see a guy fist bump, and then actually he's safe. So then he, you see the guy go, oh, my God. And then he has to go again to pitch another freaking... And then that causes the game to go longer because now he's safe. And then if he, and then the pitcher misses by, like, an inch, like I've said before. The guy can freaking hit a home run. And then the, t the game goes on longer because the freaking umpire messed up the call. And then the, the replay system is then set in place. And now the umpire had to go set it. And then the pitcher gave up the home run. It goes back and forth. Everything you do, everything you change, even though you think it's for the betterment, and it's not even a word. You, even though if you think it's the be it's better for the game, you still have consequences. You want to tone down time, take out the replay system. Even though people, it's already people are getting used to it. You have to take out the replay system to save time. And like now, you can't. Nobody can argue that much. Like, I know Ball, some people don't really like how like the how managers go out to argue, or like players go out to argue a play. Because I think now a rule is that... Ooh, that was a nice play. Is that... Now, if the guy, somebody goes to ask for a replay and the replay is overturned. I mean, if the play is overturned. And then now the, the freaking manager can go argue with the umpire. And that just takes out of the fun of the game a little bit. Because you get to see some action. Some... Some... I don't know, what's the word you can say here? Some... Uh, Some feistiness out of the game. Because now you don't see the manager front the umpire on a play that you think should be out or safe depending on what happened. What the hell is this guy's name? Billy Oh, come on. I am wild today. Ah, got him. One and one. But. <laughs> I got him. Oof. You know what's weird? Talking about the replay system, I haven't seen the replay thing pop up in any of the games I've played in MLC, MLB 16 to show. I guess there's like a setting for it or something. I haven't seen it once. Because I think my dad was playing it once and then the replay thing came up and I was like, hey, I've never seen this before. He was like, yep, it's here. So it takes more time also out of the video game. So extra time so it usually takes me 40 minutes to play one of those uh best highlights of games and then i usually cut it down to like 10 minutes it's pretty long it takes me a while to edit those best highlights of so but i actually do enjoy editing those because those are fun all the things that i edit are fun it's just you have to take the time you have to take your time to you gotta have time i only have 74 pitches i gotta build that stamina up jeez I seriously gotta beat the, build that stamina. Ah oh, shit! Okay, I jammed them. I jammed them. I jammed them. I jammed them. Woof! I've been pitching good. Holy shit! Come on, man. I should be already like in a uh, triple A. I should be in the MLB already. Let's just put it at that. I should be in the MLB. Pitching like a superstar down here. I'm not sure if there's an all-star game for double A, triple A, and. Yeah, double A, triple A, and single A. There probably is. I think I've, I think there is a all-star game for triple A. Ah, shit. No. Wow. He got it. I know there's a triple A, uh, there's a uh, triple A all-star game. So, I don't know about double A or single A, but there probably is. So, the other day, I saw that Madison Bob Garner, pitcher for the San Francisco Giants, was, had the idea of him... Joking, probably joking and probably serious at the same time of him joining the home run derby. I think that's a pretty fun idea of the pitchers doing a home run derby. I know you guys, some people, some majority of the people think that pitchers can't hit for shit. But some pitchers can hit. Like, they could rake at the plate. Like, Mad Bum, he can. Whew, 
I think he has like 11 career home runs. I'm not sure how much. But he has a lot. And like Syndergaard the other day. He, he hit two home runs in the same game. So there are some. There are some. Wow. There goes the game. There are some pitchers that can hit. Like for Bartolo alone. <laughs> Alright. My night. Seven innings pitch. Five hits. Again. Five hits. One and run. Another one. Again. Oh. I give up a walk this time. But I did strike out. So I keep on. Ooh. I was the player of the game right there boy. Play of the game.